Today, I'm gonna help you get set up with connecting your smart plugs and your smart devices to be controlled by your Stream Deck when the plugin can't be found in the Stream Deck store. If you go over to the Stream Deck plugin store, you can see here that some of the most popular smart devices and smart lights are readily available with a direct plugin. Here are some examples like Philip Hue, Nano Leaf, Lumia Stream, Life Effects, so on and so forth. But what if you have a device like from these Casa, right? From this company, Casa, where there's smart plugs. Or what if you have Philips Wiz lights? Those are not available in direct plugins on the Stream Deck store. But what if I told you, you can still control it with your Stream Deck? Well, in this video, that's exactly how I'm gonna get you up and running. Let's go over to our Stream Deck software and let's show you the steps. The first thing that we're gonna need to do is download the If This Then That plugin. If you don't already have it downloaded onto your Stream Deck software, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little baby Stream Deck up over here, and that's gonna give us direct access to the plugin store. And to make things super quick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to this search box type in if this then that and boom it shows up right there i already have mine installed but if yours isn't installed you can just click on that blue button and just go through the process once you're done we're going to go back to this stream deck menu i have a clean slate now and you can see that my plugin is over here on the bottom right hand side so i'm just gonna drag this if this then that drag it to any button and that's the first step the next thing that we need to do is we need to go into and log in to if this and that. If you don't already have an account created with them, then I would suggest pausing this video, create the account, get it up and running, and then come back to us. Now we are at the main if this then that page. And what you want to do is we're going to start off by pressing this black create button right over here. And the first step is we're going to click on the add button over if this and we're gonna type into this search option. You can type in web hooks. That's what we are looking for. That's this one right over here. And from these options, you are going to select receive a web request. This is gonna be the exact name of what you want for it to be controlled. For instance, I'm using the Casa Smart Plugs and it's for my little studio heater. So I'm gonna name the first instance studio heater on. I would recommend using the underscores when you're using separating like off and on. And the other thing that you want to do now, this is the name. What we're going to do, it's really important is just copy this control C, go back to the stream deck software. And over here on the bottom middle, you can see where it says event name. That's where you want to paste that. So it's really important that we get the same exact information. Let's bring that bad boy in. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna create this trigger. Now the next step is I'm going to add my then that. And in this step is where you're going to add your smart devices. Again, for this example, we are using the Casa smart plugs, these bad boys over here. But if you have Philips Wiz or another smart device that is applicable with if this and that you can search in these services and connect it and follow the process the same exact way. And now we have some direct options. Do you want to turn this device on, turn it off? Do you want it to be a toggle where if you press the button, it'll toggle between off and on. And again, depending on if you have some lights or something like that, you can even go as far as changing the colors and changing the bright brightness. So here is what you would choose the appropriate action from when you have your stream deck and you're pressing the button. What do you want the stream deck? How do you want the stream deck to control that device itself? I'm gonna do a toggle is what I wanna do because I wanted to turn my heater off and on with just the press of one button. I wanna toggle through those. Great. I've already linked my Casa account, so you can see here that this is my Casa information. Now, if you have not linked your account, once you go through it, you'll go through the appropriate steps of logging into your account, so on and so forth. And then once you've done that, if we go ahead and we take a look at this drop down menu, these are all of the Casa devices that I currently have paired to my Casa application. So you can see over here, this one is called Studio Heater. So that's the little heater that I have back behind me. We're gonna select that and I wanna create the action. 
We're almost done, guys. It is literally that simple. So now let's hit continue. This is telling you that now this event is created. And what I would recommend is leaving this off where it says receive notifications when this applet runs. Because if you turn that on, what it's gonna do is that every time you press that button on your stream deck, it's gonna open up an annoying window, like a browser window, giving you confirmation that this action was run. You usually don't need it because I'll know when my heater is off or on, but if there are circumstances that you may want that confirmation, I would turn it on. But for now, let's leave it off. Let's click on finish. And now it says it's connected. So the next step that what we need to do from this page here, we're gonna go into my services by clicking on my profile picture. We're gonna go into my services and then we're gonna scroll down to where we created our web hooks. So you see there's a few different ones here. I wanna click on web hooks because that's what we created initially. And I'm now, once I'm in this page here, now I'm gonna click on my settings and you see over here, where it has the URL under details. What you need to do is you need to copy everything that is behind the word use slash. So for me, it's starting BB, right? You wanna go ahead and you want to copy that over. And now guys, I am gonna regenerate this key so you can't control your lights, my lights from your house, but this is just to show you how it's going. So let's control C and let's get back to the Stream Deck software. And you can see over here where it says maker key. Well, that's where you wanna control V, put that bad boy in. If you want, you can make a title, right? I don't wanna make a title, but I actually do wanna change the icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to create a new icon or open from the icon library. And you can choose whatever icon, you can make your own icon. Uh, let's see, is there a plug? There is a plug, so for now, why don't we use that? All I'm going to do now is press this button and that should get my heater turning off and on. Let's see, fantastic, the heater turned off and that is it. That is literally how simple it is to connect your smart devices and your smart lights to be controlled by your Stream Deck just by using the if this then that plugin. So if you were sad because you didn't see a popular plugin on the Stream Deck store, have no fear because if this then that is here. All right, guys, let us know what are the smart devices that you have paired now using this if this then that plugin. Down in the comments below, I wanna know some of the brands that you guys are using and some of the actions that you've created. Like, are you telling it to choose a different color? Are you telling, telling it to do a different scene? I'd love to hear how you are getting these combinations up and running on your stream deck. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.